Hello, good afternoon, Adrian. How are you guys? Welcome, uh, Pod Fiesta peeps. How are you guys? Thank you for having me. Um, and, yeah, thank you for giving your time. Good afternoon to you. So, yeah, good afternoon. Ayan, are you in Manila, wait. Adrian? Are you yes, in Manila? Or in, oh, cool. Manila cool. lang din ako. So, oh. it's really wonderful having you here. And it's a I've been seeing you around, even in a lot of the, um, a lot of the groups. So I'm like, so excited to have you here, and I can't wait to know more about the things that you know, the tricks of the trade. So, Mr. Stanley Chi, you can take it away, and we'll love to listen to you. Okay, thank you, Adrian. Um, first of all, I'm Stanley Chi. I'm a comedian, a host, and a book author, and I'm also a humorist. I started podcasting before the pandemic, and I I really. I uh, want to try hosting a podcast because um, I, I have so much to talk talk to, talk to and um, I have a lot of topics in mind. So the first problem that I encountered was when I was checking the podcast, um, the podcast concepts. Most of the comedians are in the comedy podcasts and I want to be different from them. I want to... Um, I, I don't want to be um, boxed inside a, a a concept that most of my friends and my colleagues are doing. So I thought of a concept that is different. I wanted a I I first checked the target market who who's my audience on social media, and I noticed most of the people that are uh, supporting me online are uh, not students anymore. They're working in the office, so I. I thought of um, how about if I make a podcast that caters to the audience that are in the working class. But most of the people who are doing business podcasts are pro management. And I I noticed there are more employees than bosses. So I created a pro employee podcast because not all boss are not not all employees have good bosses. Some of the employees they have bad bosses and i want to cater to most of the employees who are uh, listeners and supporting me the young professionals because back then they were still in high school and uh, since they graduated they have their own jobs they're working already so i wanted to give back to those people who supported me and that's why i uh, thought of the title underpaid in the philippines um un- most of the employees are underpaid. So I wanted to um, talk about topics that can relate to them. And uh, as what the other speakers are saying, that we have to give value to them. And most of the topics are how to create the perfect resume, uh, things that are relatable to my audience, um, how to get by, pirated by the other company, um, how to deal with bullying in the office, those types of topics that I deal with. And I'm not the only host in the podcast. I, I have an HR manager who also hosts the podcast, um, a freelancer, and a guy who works in the middle management so that we got all bases covered. And my podcast, it, I record my podcast twice a week. Uh, every Mondays and Thursdays are the release on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and Anchor. And if you notice, um, I don't do the same uh, concept uh, twice a week. Uh, every Mondays, the re- the episode release is a one-on-one interview with a business owner or an expert. And the Thursday release is for all four of us discuss- discussing a topic that is relatable to the employees or what I call mga immortal the immortal is a uh, a term that filipinos call themselves because even if there's typhoon there's earthquake uh, people still go to the office even during the pandemic so now i'm gonna share uh tips on how to start your own podcast okay um i'm gonna share my screen um now, starting your own podcast. Starting your own podcast is um, first of all, why do a podcast? Number one, the audio content is convenient. Number two, to build an audience. Of course, um, you want a uh, podcast is more authentic, 
um, people release a lot of videos that are they don't think it's really authentic but when you do podcasting um, these are created by ordinary people and talk about everyday topics that are relatable to everyone number three it doesn't cost much all you have to do is have a mic uh, and download the app you can upload it via anchor and then you can upload it be on spotify and apple podcast and number four it can showcase your creativity not many people, uh, you're not restricted to the different uh, censorship on TV, on movies. But when you do a podcast, it's free-flowing. You can even um, say anything that you want. And number five, it's easy. It's like uploading a YouTube, uh, a YouTube video. Now, how do you start your podcast? You have to think of a relatable, you have to be relatable. Your target audience your target audience should be able to relate to your topic. Like for what I've, I've been doing, I created a pro-employee podcast and all, most of my topics are all about office politics, relationships with the boss and the employee, how to motivate your employees, how to be motivated even if you don't have a big salary. And number two, you have to be, uh, people should be entertained. Not only do you give value, but you also entertain the listeners uh, every episode, like in in my podcast, what we do is we talk about work-related lo- topics in a very light manner. It's like uh, speaking inside a pantry, talking to your office mates and talking to your friends. And then at the same time, it's also informative because even if we're joking around, even if um, we're, we're talking in a light manner, you also learn from us. Okay. Now... You have to create a niche. Uh, who's your target market? Like for me, my target market are employees, and you can create a you can create a podcast that caters to students. You can create a podcast that creates to that uh, caters to parents, to uh, gamers, or maybe even musicians. So niche marketing, like what our speaker a while ago. Um, Mr. Scott Carson told us about niche podcasting. It works. And it's uh, catered to um, smaller people, but most of those people are very loyal, loyal listeners. And once they start listening to you and supporting you, they will listen your, to your podcast from start to the end. Now, the hosting style uh, that, that uh, you want to do, it really depends on the style of the uh, podcast that you want. If it's a structured, um, if it the hosting style is structured, then maybe it's a bit more formal. But uh, for comedy podcasts, they go with the flow. Uh, some of the comedy podcasts they make you think that they just go with the flow, but they really have a structure that they're following. And um, additional tip: you have to develop your own style. It's good to have influences, but you really have to be yourself. You don't want to be known as a copycat. You don't want to be known as the oh the Australian version of Joe Rogan. You don't want to be known as that uh, type of guy. You want to be known as the um, to to have your own brand, to have your own style. Okay, podcast tips: um, have rough drafts whenever you're gonna be recording. Be consistent in uploading and recording your podcast. Um, number three, you have to set the tone. Is it going to be Serious, it depends on your the guest or the topics that you'll be talking about. If it's about uh, mental health, then you have to be quite serious and you have to set the tone that it's not uh, shouldn't be taken lightly. Um, number four, sound quality is key. You may have the best uh, video camera or the best webcams, but if your audio is weak, it's not good. Then uh, your podcast is gonna have a gonna have problems. It's gonna be hard to listen to. And another tip, if you want to create a podcast, please don't have a podcast just to have a podcast. Uh, You have to ask yourself why you want to have a podcast. Is it because you want to share what you know? You want to entertain people? Um, You want to earn money? It's okay. No problem if you want to earn money from podcasting. Uh, It's okay. um, Earning money is not bad. And you have to ask yourself how how will you make a podcast where are you going to record your podcast and when are you going to start recording and what is your concept 
create a concept that is um, uniquely yours. Don't copy other shows. And um, what I notice from other people, they always do this concept. We talk about anything and everything under the sun. I, I really don't want to advise those types of concept because um, a lot of a lot of shows are already doing that. If you create a niche uh, niche for your podcast, then more of you will target those um, the audience that you really want to target, and they would really be uh, they would be able to relate to you more. Okay. Now, where do you where do I record my podcast during the pandemic because it's quite dangerous to go out these days. Number one, you can record via Zoom. Uh, you can download the audio and the video files to your computer. StreamYard is a live streaming website like what we're doing right now. Uh, StreamYard is all, also okay, pero um, it's quite, uh, the graphics are, um, it's it might be too much if your internet's too slow. But if you're in other countries, I don't think you'll have a problem with the internet connection. Okay, audio is king. Um, my some of the some of the gadgets that you can use is Audio Technica AT two thousand five USB mic, a laptop, and an inter, a strong internet connection. Back then, if you notice in the picture, I'm using a small mic that I that I just uh, plug in my laptop. That's the that's the mic that you use for your digital or the mirrorless camera. But right now, I invested in a Boya mic like this, the M700, for podcasting. Uh, for If you have the budget, you can buy an Audio Technica. Okay, if you have a guest, tips if you have a guest, uh, try to check their internet connection before the show to avoid delays and interruption during the show. Uh, when you're in a Zoom meeting you'll uh, and you're recording, you'll get all sorts of uh, distractions. There's uh, dogs barking, chickens, uh getting noisy and people at home that that are talking so you have to check the audio and you have to avoid interruptions now should i invite a guest to my podcast if it's a one-on-one -on -one interview then uh, make sure that your your guest is an expert so that it can add he can add he or she can add credibility to your episode and if you don't have a guest your topic should be relatable to your audience a lot of people are doing a solo podcast without guests. It runs for 5 to 15 minutes and he just talks about a certain topic that is uh, relatable and uh, it adds value to your guests, uh, to your listeners. Um, for example, signs that um, signs that uh, your, your office mate is about to resign. And then you talk about why people are resigning, um, why... Um, uh, the signs that they're about to resign and the tips and advice so that uh, when you're about to resign, what you, you're going to do next. Um, but but um, if I have a guest, if I want to invite a guest, I make sure that I email them a formal letter. I introduce myself and I tell them about my podcast and I send them the topics and my contact details. Whether they reply or not, it's okay because... Uh, I I didn't invite uh, only one guest. You have to have a backup plan, a plan B, because um, not many people would be will guess in a podcast, especially if it, they don't know you. So just try and try to invite people so uh, to guess in your podcast, and then you can schedule it so that you won't run out of guests. Um, one thing that I've been doing, so I'm consistent in uploading my podcast. I record in advance. If, um, for example, this enti the entire April episodes are, are already recorded, so that I can focus on the episodes this May. So that's uh, if you wanna start your podcast before releasing it, you have to record it first. Record a couple, um, four to five episodes, so you have advanced episodes or extra episodes. Okay. Now that I have my own podcast, how do I promote it? You can use uh, Canva Canva website for creating memes for your uh, podcast. Um, like what's uh, like the sample here, um, how to start investing in stocks during the quarantine. And there's the details, the date, the Facebook page, 
the time and uh, the name of our guest and be sure to tag them so they could repost it also. Now, how do you promote it online? You can promote it on your social media accounts. Um, right now, TikTok is also popular. You can um, maybe upload snippets of your podcast on TikTok. You can upload snippets of your podcast on YouTube. And the posters, you can um, post it on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, especially the IG stories and the Facebook stories. Okay, there you have it. Um, please subscribe to the Underpaid Podcast on Spotify, Apple Podcast, and Anchor. And my YouTube account is all the, already there. You can just Google me. If you need, uh, have any more questions, you can join the uh, the chat group in uh, the the speakers Q and A in the uh, hopin .com. So thank you guys for inviting me. Um, Miko, thank you, and Pod Fiesta. Happy podcasting. If you need have any more questions, you can just uh, PM me. I'm just a PM away um, on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and uh, I'm also on TikTok. Okay. So, Pod Fiesta, if you have any more questions, just let me know. Eka, thank you. Oh, hi. Hi, hi, Mr. Stanley. Thank hello, you hello. so much for that uh, very informative um, presentation. Actually, I I am listening to your podcast ever since you're one. Oh. You're always on the top charts. You're always part of the top charts. So thank you, thank uh, you. Erica. I listen to it like as as someone who majors in human resource management. I really mm -hmm. am very interested in the type of content that you put out there. So which is why um, I was looking forward really to your presentation and to your um, speaking engagement this afternoon. Thank you so much, Mr. Stanley. Oh, um, everyone, if you have questions for Mr. Stanley, you may go to hop in. Go to question and answer session and ask him a few questions or network with him and connect with him. Thank you so much once again. Okay. Thank you, Pod Fiesta.